guys, welcome to today's lesson. My name is Srinidhi. I've been working with an academy for a few months now. I teach English grammar on this platform. You guys can follow me on an academy by downloading the Unacademy Learning app on your phone and kindly check out the YouTube channel as well. So, as we all know, this course is called Daily Hindu Analysis, where we pick out a few words from the Hindu newspaper and I give you guys its meaning, its usage, and its synonyms, along with the proverb at the end of every lesson. So, here we go. Hey guys, so this is the fifth lesson under this course. So as you all can see, it is picked up from the newspaper on uh, from 21st, 3rd, 2008, I'm sorry, the words are from the 21st March 2018 newspaper. So as I told you all, this newspaper also had quite a few, you know, uh, different vocab. So I didn't want to let it go. So I thought I will make three uh, lessons because... Uh, you never know if those words will repeat again, but you'll have to wait for them, so I didn't want to let go of the chance. So let's get started with the set of words, words today, sorry. The first one is heed. Heed is a verb that means to pay attention to someone's warning or advice. To pay attention to someone's warning or advice is nothing but heed. Ex uh, sorry, synonyms, listen to someone or follow someone's uh, advice. Example, he should heed to the advice of friends and family by enjoying a long and a happy retirement. That means he should, con he, sorry, he should consider uh, leading a happy and a long retirement by taking into consideration the advice given by his friends and family. Nothing but he should listen to his friends and family. Okay. Next one is scrutiny not security because i've seen people just reading it as security because it is st everything is in the word scrutiny scrutiny is a noun that means if a person or thing is under scrutiny they're being studied or observed very carefully so if you're in hr you scrutinize the resumes of every candidate that you know applies for your company so scrutinize is to examine something very carefully or study something very carefully Synonyms, examination or search. Okay, so here, search in the sense you search for any uh, defaults or any uh, undisclosed information or any disinformation that might sound false. Okay, uh, example, the actor's life came under media scrutiny. That means the actor's life was under media's examination. So the media took the liberty and the right to uh, get into the no uh, poke their nose into the life of this actor so or simply they examined his personal life or they they you can say they uh, dissected his personal life so third one is prodigy so we see this many times but I don't know if most of you all know the meaning so that's exactly why I picked it up prodigy is a noun that means someone who is young but has a great natural ability for something such as maths, music, art, sports, etc. So when I say he's young and he has a natural ability that means there is no uh, that means it comes naturally to them. For example, if we have to be good in music, it's necessary that we practice, we learn, we'll have to do so many revisions and stuff, but a prodigy can produce it naturally. He does not need as much training as a normal person would require. So those kind of people are called prodigies. Synonyms, genius or wonders. Example, Bob, a teenage prodigy, influenced most of the British guitar players. So Bob is a, an imaginary name, okay? So Bob, a teenage prodigy, that means uh, a teenage boy who influenced most of the British guitar players because he was that good when I mean, he was that good in playing guitar. So it was, it came naturally to him that he influenced or inspired most of the British guitar players. Okay. Next one is exacerbates. Exacerbates is a verb that means if something exacerbated a problem, it worsened it or it worsens it. Exam uh, synonyms provoke or infuriate that means to uh, blow up the issue okay so something that blows up all uh, a smaller issue is called exacerbating an issue okay sometimes if someone says something we will be like oh stop exaggerating that means stop uh, telling 100 things when it is just 
a small small petty issue uh provoke is a synonym for exacerbate which is nothing but to uh, cause an issue so for example my sister and i fought but when we sat and uh, explained it to my mother we realized that my sister was the one who provoked me so provoke somebody is to make them do something out of rage so you hit their ego or you say things that will uh, annoy that person and that person ends up doing that work so that is nothing but provoking them okay example long standing poverty has been exacerbated by racial divisions so racial divisions are adding on to uh, the already existent problem of poverty in the country okay or it is worsening the already sad condition of the people who living under poverty line okay next one is disparate disparate is an adjective that means things which are clearly different from each other in quality or type so when you compare two things which are different in type or in quality they have a contrast difference so that is called disparate synonyms different unlike example scientists are trying to pull together disparate ideas in astronomy that means scientists are trying to pull together very contrasting ideas or very unique ideas or unlikely ideas relating to the field of astronomy sixth word and the last word for today's lesson is foresee verb is a i mean it's a verb so that means to expect and believe that it will happen so you very sure that before the event could happen you foresee the event that means uh, you predict it much before the event could take place and you believe that that event will take place no matter what so those um, that ability is called foreseeing ability okay synonyms predict forecast okay uh example he could have never foreseen that one day his books would sell in millions so he could have never predicted that his books will be sold in numbers one day or he could have never thought or never believed that his books will be sold in such huge numbers okay so before going to the proverb for the day let's do the uh pronunciation again heed which is a verb that means to pay attention to someone's advice or criticism or warnings scrutiny is to examine something carefully prodigy is a young person who has a great natural ability to do something exacerbate is to infuriate a problem or to provoke a problem or to worsen the problem disparate is uh, two things which are entirely different in terms of quality or type foresee is to predict much in advance or to expect and believe that something will happen okay so the proverb that we saw yesterday or in the previous lesson rather was don't put all your eggs in one basket so this is a uh, you know a mo- uh, this is more financially used that means one should not put all one's efforts or resources in one area because the stakes are pretty high if you put everything in one particular field and there are high chances that you might lose in that particular field and you lose all that effort and all that money that you've put in so it's always better to uh, divide your uh, potentiality and to invest in different domains so that even if one domain goes bad so for example mr lindsay's financial advisor urged him not to put all his eggs in one basket by investing all his money on stocks so just like i said if you invest only in one domain there are high stakes that you might lose all of your money in that if that particular field goes bad or it um, you know it fails so it's better to always have one or two options so even in your life when critical situations arise for example you want to choose your career so it's it's good that you have one aim and you work towards it but it's always good to have a you know a backup plan what if this aim of mine is you know is not it does not come true so then i have something else so i won't get dejected in life because i've lost all my stakes which i put in one single basket so yes pretty philosophical the the proverb that i would suggest for today is birds of the same feather flock together 
I'll repeat, birds of the same feather flock together. So guys, please try doing it uh, in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Until then, bye-bye.